Hi, it's Matt here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna dive in and explain exactly how I became a manifestation coach and what triggered the start of the most beautiful spiritual awakening for me, taking me from an estate agent to a spiritual coach. Now, I've shared videos across numerous channels, mainly over on TikTok about what triggered that, but I really wanna dive into the mechanics behind how this even started and how manifestation works as well. So hopefully my intention with this video is that you can finish it at the end and take some real practical advice and tips to go and implement in your own life. So let's just start with 2017. Back then, I was 25. I was at the height of my career in the corporate world. I climbed to the top of the ladder in the property industry, being an estate agent. I'd worked in that firm since I was 19, and I became the youngest manager in that company by a good 10 years. I was earning good money. I was driving a fast car and I was very material. My wife was also in the property industry and we just worked hard. That's what I thought life was. But niggling inside was the fact that I wasn't really fulfilled. And I just hated the prospect of having to do that same job until I was 65. So another 40 years, I remember thinking, can I really do this for 40 years? I was witnessing the world changing, but it's all I knew, selling houses. And then my mom died. So in 2017, in the July, my mum passed away from cancer and she was only 51 at the time. And I remember my life completely changed because one of the last conversations I had with her, I went to see her in a hospice in Essex, which is where she passed away. And she said to me, Matt, take this advice. When you're in my position, you'll look back and you'll realise how precious life is, how every moment of every day is precious and just just travel, just be happy and make memories because when you're in my position right now, you'll realize how precious life is. And I remember hearing that, but at the same time, still being obsessed with work, obsessed with my job and my clients. And for a good six months, good six to 12 months, I carried on trying to work hard, but that sort of voice in my head was saying, remember what your mum said, Matt, you know, you've got to live your best life, you know, have more of an impact and purpose and travel and be happy. And I did nothing about it until my wife's grandmother in September, 2018, encouraged me to have reflexology for the first time because I was suffering from quite a lot of stress in my job. And I remember having a tight chest and not being able to breathe properly. So she encouraged I had reflexology. I'd never heard of it before. I didn't particularly like anyone sort of touching my feet, but I, I knew the benefits of it were good. And one of the first things the therapist said to me was, and he only knew my name, was Matt, tell me who you are. And I answered and I said, I'm a 26 year old estate agent. I'm the youngest in, my man in, in, in the industry, in the firm I work for. And he stopped me in my tracks and he said, sorry, Matt, I didn't ask what you did for a living. I asked who you are. And it's a deep question. And maybe if I ask you that right now, who are you? Just think about it. Because I think so many of us associate ourselves with the job title that we have or what we have to do for a living or that we have to provide for our family or our children. And I identified myself as this sort of exterior shell. I wasn't identifying myself with my soul and my purpose. And this triggered the most amazing spiritual awakening for me because I went on the pursuit of the meaning of life and what my purpose was. Now, I'm not going to bore you with the, the story, but I ended up investing a lot of money into myself for my own personal development and growth. I ended up going over to Toronto in the early part of 2019 to actually pinpoint my purpose in life. And that was a deep dive into my childhood, my self-limiting beliefs, my environment and what sort of molded me as the person that I was as a 25 year old estate agent. And I was able to derive through those sessions and traveling uh, across the world that my purpose in life wasn't to be an estate agent and earn money. My purpose in life is to happily help and support others in their pursuit to secure their best life. So they're filled with courage, believing they have the persistence to achieve it. So my purpose is to help others create their best life. And I thought, well, how am I going to do this as an estate agent? How am I going to do this? And then another incredible thing happened. One particular evening in the early part of 2019, I was lying in bed with my wife. We were watching Netflix and I said to my wife, I'm going to roll over and try and go to sleep. She carried on listening to a film on Netflix. And as I rolled over, I was still wide awake. My whole entire body started to vibrate. 
and it vibrated so much that I thought I could almost hover off the ground. That's what it felt like. I could hover off the bed. And then I heard high pitch ringing in my ears and then it went deadly silent. And then my mum came through and she said, hi, Matt, it's mum. Can you hear me? And I started having a conversation with her. And then my wife nudged me because she was still watching Netflix and woke me up. And I thought, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've just connected with my mum. And I was I believed I wanted to believe in the afterlife. But there was part of me that was definitely sceptical and doubted sort of psychic mediums and everything like that. And I think when something happens to you so vividly and clearly like that, there is no going back. There is no going back. And then the combination of that and sort of establishing my purpose in life meant that I just I needed to I needed to I needed to just dive into this. And that's when I started to really understand the laws that govern this universe and wanting to understand how I connected with my mother in that um, situation. And that's when I realised through my own research and scientific um, evidence and understanding that everything in this three dimensional reality that we live and operate in with our five senses is just energy. And even the human body is a condensed form of energy vibrating at a slow, very slow rate of vibration. So if everything's energy, but we perceive it with our five senses to be three dimensional, what happens to the soul? Because if everything's energy and that's proven, what happens to the soul? And again, through my own work and you know research, I was able to understand that well, if energy can't be destroyed, it can only be transferred. Maybe the soul moves on to a different dimensional realm. And that's when I was able to ascertain and understand what happened when I connected with my mom. That when my body started to vibrate and I heard the high pitch ringing in my ears, I was able to lift my energy, my vibration. And my mom was able to lower her vibration so we were able to connect on the same frequency or wavelength, if you like. Just like tuning into your favourite radio station. If you know the exact frequency and wavelength to it, you can hear it. If you're out of alignment to it and not tuned into it, you don't get it. So my mum and I tuned into the same frequency. And that then led me down the path of manifestation because I was able to then comprehensively understand that if everything's energy vibrating at a certain frequency and our thoughts trigger our feelings and our feelings trigger an outcome, then surely if we can change our thoughts, we're going to change our vibration and our energy, pushing us surely in alignment to something that we're desiring. And then that's where it's led me to. And I now help people on a daily basis understand their intent in life, who they're looking to become, what they're looking to manifest. And then we look at who they are as a person and how they're vibrating, what their energy is and how they can align themselves perfectly to that desire through emotion. Because all manifestation is, is getting clear on an intention of who you're looking to become. Thinking about the emotions that would be present if that manifestation was in your life right now. And then taking inspired daily action towards it, right? But most people think that if they're looking to manifest, let's say, abundance, they need to do something to, be, to, to become abundant. And only when they are abundant right now they, they, that they will feel a certain way. But what I teach is that you have to become an abundant person right now. Equally, if I work with someone who's looking to manifest love, you know, this time and separation and lack between finding that perfect soulmate. So there's this sort of whole period of not feeling love. Well, what if actually you focus on being love right now, loving yourself and vibrating internally this sort of core vibration of love? And if you can do that and if you can change your energy, change your vibration, then you can attract love. So I hope this has given you more of an insight into who I am, how this journey started out for me. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me over on TikTok. Or if you'd like to work with me, I'll work with people one to one to really get to know them on a deeper level. Get clear on exactly what they're looking to manifest or desire in their life and then take desired um, daily action steps towards it. So I hope this video has helped and I look forward to seeing you in another video soon. Take care.